Red Shark News at IBC 2017. Brought to you by Panasonic, offering connected systems and solutions for broadcast and pro AV. NewTek, the world's first full end-to-end -end IP solution. Zeiss Camera Lenses, always delivering the best quality to make your project stand out. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. I am here at the Frame I.O. booth at IBC. With me is Emery from I.O. Frame I.O. How you doing, man? Good, good. How are you? Oh, too bad, too bad. Qu quite tired. <laughs> um, so, what have you got for us today? So we're showing Frame.io, and uh, for anyone that's not familiar with Frame.io, we're a video review and collaboration platform. So what does that really mean? Um, you know, we, we solve a lot of challenges that, that we as filmmakers have when we're making video, whether you're making you know, commercials, short films, uh, whatever type of video you make, there's a common set of challenges that we all go through. The first is we have a lot of big files, and they're generally people that need access to them, right? We're working with, uh, with motion graphics artists, with other editors, with audio people, with clients, whoever it is, we have big files that we need to, that we need to share. A lot of people turn to consumer video sites like, like YouTube, make it, make it private, put a password on it, even Vimeo, um, and send a link in an email. And now you try to have a conversation in a static email on moving visual content. Email's a, a horrible place to talk about video, so it leads to really terrible conversation. And for whatever reason, when people are leaving these time code notes in email, the time code's wrong. I don't know why it's wrong. You can burn the time code into the video. Somehow, they are referencing time code that is, it is wrong. Even if it's correct, it's still a huge chore to, to communicate by saying at one minute and 10 seconds and two frames, uh, this is what I think, and then the thing you said after that should come before the thing you said before. It's very difficult. So what happens is it leads to feedback paralysis. Nobody really wants to give feedback. When you watch a video, you immediately have all these thoughts that are flowing through your mind that you just want to you want to share. But you start typing it out. Hmm, how am I going to say this? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's at five minutes. Uh, oh, this sucks. Forget it. You know, we're working more distributed. We're working in a distributed fashion. We're not necessarily always sitting next to each other all day, every day. But by the way, even if we were. It's still good to have a platform like Frame.io where you can kind of watch stuff on your own time, get your thoughts out in your, when, you know, when you feel like you're, you're ready to share them. And then the creation process is iterative. So if we only went through that cycle once, it'd be bad, but maybe it's manageable. We go through it 10 times, 15 times as you cycle through all the different versions. And you wind up with your media and your conversations spread out across all these different platforms. It sucks, right? So we, so we built Frame.io to solve that actually started as an internal tool at my previous post-production company. I used to, to do uh, a bunch of television commercials, Saturday Night Live, for people in the in the States, Saturday Night Live is a sketch comedy show it's, it's, that's uh, pretty big there. Used to do all the digital shorts. And um, we built Frame.io to solve the, the, the challenges that we were having at my post facility. Over 350,000 people sign up for Frame.io, which, is, which has been in incredible. Uh, but our most recent release has been uh, focus on how do we solve this in a larger media organization or a larger enterprise. So while you know, most of our customers uh, are, are a lot like you, they're working on you know, small short films, uh, commercials, things like that, but we had immediate interest from, from larger media organizations. So we launched uh, recently Frame.io Enterprise, and enterprises, they actually, it doesn't matter what type of video you're doing, they all go through the same set of collaboration challenges, but but larger organizations care about security, permissioning, identity access management, and that's what we focus on with uh, Frame.io Enterprise. Kind of the biggest difference in Frame.io Enterprise on the, on the product side, so yes, it is more secure, yes, we have identity access management, uh, we solve those, but on the product side, we allow you to create what we call sub-teams. So imagine you are a, um, an organization like Viacom that has TV stations like MTV, VH1, Comedy Central, um, we now allow you to, to, to group those sub-organizations under one central account. So you can give you know, um, MTV on-air promo department their own sort of siloed Frame.io environment where um, Viacom as, a, as an entity can manage all their intellectual property from one central platform and they maintain control and ensure that their, their, their content is being worked on securely and people aren't you know, one-off sharing on, on Dropbox or, or wherever else, so it keeps it in one secure central environment. Frame.io is available on the web. It's also, have, we have integrations with the desktop creative tools like Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and Avid Media Composer. And we also have a native iOS application, and we were incredibly fortunate to win an Apple Design Award for that 
last year. So, um, you know, just sort of a reflection of the of the the care and craft that we that we put into it. You know, we want to we want to build the the absolute best software in the world. So, when introducing people to Frame.io for the first time, for those of us who don't know what Frame.io is, in a nutshell, how would you describe it? So we describe it as a video review and collaboration platform, and uh, we essentially combine high-speed file sharing, work in progress review, and approval with some light asset management into one central platform. For any more information, where can our audience find? Frame.io. Frame.io. Thank you very much. Thanks. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Well, that is it from Frame.io's booth at IBC. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more information, please head on over to redshotnews.com.